No! You know, you gotta give it to them. They're freaking quick. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have kind of a shorter one for you. I was honestly this week gonna start skipping the Wednesday uploads and go back down to one video a week as uh, my due date gets closer, but I don't know. I just can't help myself. So I figure a short video is better than no video. So I'm just gonna be repotting two plants today. They're both Hoyas. But actually, first things first, before I forget, <laughs> let's talk about my hand. So I will tell you the story about my finger while we're repotting. This, I was toasting a piece of Alice's homemade sourdough bread and every, like my top shelf in the oven, cause I don't have a toaster, is um, super close to the top of the burner. And every time I take out the bread with my hands instead of a tong, and I'm like, one of these days I'm gonna burn myself and I just push it and push it. And today was the day, pulled sourdough out, felt it got burned, but like it didn't hurt right away. I just felt it was really hot and I was like, oh, ow, that kind of hurt. And then maybe like, I didn't still feel any pain. Two seconds later, I'm like, oh, I can smell like burning, but it wasn't like burnt toast or like food burning. It was like burning skin and I like smelled the burn and it was like burnt, so I like, Ran it under cold water, put a burn pad on it, and like, I don't have like a wrap or anything, so I just had to put a bunch of band-aids. So if you're wondering why my hand looks like this, we've just had a rough few days, and I will tell you about that, like I said, in a bit. But anyway, today we are finally going to be repotting my Eve Rocherai. Just as a reminder, this was my original plant, and this is the remaining plant that I got from Aaron not too long ago. So I think it's just time to um, pot them together. I probably will take a few more cuttings to propagate because every time I do a live sale with Lauren now, people are like, all right, where's the Eve Rocherai? And yeah, I just figure I should try and propagate as much as I can. Okay, and then the second one that we're gonna do today, this one I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of nervous for both just because I just, I love both of these very much and I don't want them to tank. But the second one is going to be my Hoya Matilde that is on a really small arca trellis. I'm gonna go from an arc trellis to a circle trellis because I want this to be like a little bit bigger and more pronounced. There are new leaves on the way and I've been trying to wait for a time to repot this when no leaves were incoming, but this plant definitely got the memo that it's spring and so she hasn't stopped. So we're just gonna make do with what we can. Hopefully I don't knock off any of those new leaves, but if you guys know me, that's probably gonna happen. Um, so yeah, we're just going to jump right into this repot. I think I'm gonna start with the Eve Rocherai. I have to condition my brain to say Eve Rocherai now because this entire time, I've been calling it Eve Rocherii, and I I like that name better than Eve Rocherii. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but we're just going with it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna repot now, or I'm gonna repot first and then take propagations after because it's gonna get all sappy and stuff. So let's just get this out of here. Hopefully you guys can see. I feel really low, low. <sighs> I can't bend. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the story. I wasn't even gonna tell this story because I feel like people are gonna be judgy because you just like never know what the internet will judge you for, truly. It's the weirdest things that they'll judge you for. Um, oh my gosh, there are roots coming out of this thing like crazy. This thing needed a repot a long time ago. So we're gonna have a little bit of root breakage, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do about it. It has grown outside of the pot and back into the into the substrate. So that is not good. Okay, this thing is compressed. Holy smokes. Okay, so telling you the story of my finger. This is like the long, most long-winded story to tell you about my finger, but obviously I'm in full nesting mode right now. Um, I got rid of my jute rug out in the living room because the jute was just so fibrous and it was getting everywhere 
and I didn't really think jute was like an appropriate material for like a baby to be like crawling all over and whatever just not very it's not very soft it's not very forgiving so I got rid of it um, I sold it and I have not had a rug since and there's a rug that I have been eyeing from one of my favorite brands Safav Safavier I don't know how to say their name I will plug in the rug that I want here and um, this is the brand that my living room shelves are from I just really like jive with their designs but I was like I am not gonna pay almost $500 for a rug that could potentially be ruined by a kid slash pudge who loves to throw up on rugs so I've been trying to find a comparable low pile brown rug I wanted brown I didn't want to do because my jute rug was like a beige before but I didn't want to do beige just because like for staining reasons I wanted something darker and I feel like something darker would make the space feel a little bit more warm and not so sad beige aesthetic. Um, I'm not going to untangle this all the way since I'm repotting it in pond. I'm just going to leave it. There is cutting or plant number one. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to find a used rug because I'm, I don't know, I buy used things all the time i love thrifting like so many things in my house are thrifted and i just i don't know i don't mind buying things secondhand and on marketplace i've had a pretty good experience buying used things like i'm usually pretty good about like really analyzing photos asking questions and stuff but this time i just did not ask enough questions i didn't in hindsight like i i totally could have avoided this whole situation so I'm wondering if I should do, no, sorry, I was like, maybe I can rinse it, but I don't see the point in that, it's just going back in pond anyway, please don't fall. Okay, so um, I find this rug, and I'm going to throw in the listing photo here, I was like, okay, it's nowhere near as pretty as the rug that I actually want, but same color. It's the same size, low pile, and it's under a hundred bucks. And that was like my ideal, um, you know, ideal, what word am I thinking of? The, the, that's what I was looking for, ideal specs, I guess. And so I messaged that person right away and was like, is this available? If so, I can come pick it up to, um, this weekend. And she was like, oh, sorry, there's someone else that is supposed to be coming. This evening if it falls through I'll let you know and like usually when those things like when that happens like you never really hear back from them I'm gonna do like down at the bottom by the way and this is the vessel that I'm gonna be using by the way I bought a massive bag of Lekka so no more Lekka drought here anymore and I'm not gonna be stingy with the Lekka I have been fighting for my life trying to make this Lekka last as long as possible this one little thing so I really wasn't expecting to hear back from her. I was like, you know what? It's probably, it's gonna be taken. It's too good of a deal for a lug this size. And it looked like it was in pretty good condition. The description said there are no stains, no issues with it at all. And it was in good condition and it was easy to clean, which I believe because it's such a thin rug. And that's why I wanted low pile. Today I'm also going to be using, hopefully I don't spill, trying to show you. I'm going to be using uh, Ina's pawn. I will link her pawn in the description. This is pretty much the only pawn I've been using for the last year, year and a half. She has a mix with slow release fertilizer and a mix without it. And I think the next thing I wanna try from her shop is the micro Lekka. They're like little teeny tiny Lekkas, they're so cute. So anyway, she messages me on a Friday and she's like, hey, that person never showed up. Do you still want the rug? And I was like, I can be there, what did I say? I can be there tomorrow. So I, I went on Saturday morning. I didn't go in because we parked down the street. There wasn't a lot of parking. 
so i just sent vincent to go grab it and normally i would want to like look at it first and again this was my mistake because i usually ask for more pictures when it comes to something like this like if i'm buying a piece of furniture i just want to make sure i know exactly what i'm getting into i didn't do that this time i just jumped the gun because i felt like i didn't want to lose the rug because i was like asking too many questions and Mind you, her responses were very short. It took her several hours just to reply to certain messages. So I just didn't want to like complicate things. Um, unfortunately, I have added two. Oh no, I broke a leaf. I'm new. Now it's sticky. I added too much LECA. It's, stu it's too high. Fudge. I basically just sent Vince in to go grab it. So she brought the rug. It was rolled up and immediately when he gets close to the car i can see underneath it is just so dirty it's stained like it looked like things had been spilled i don't know what kind of liquids or whatever it was but it looked filthy and i was like oh my gosh she said it was clean and it's clearly not clean and he puts it in the car in the trunk and immediately the smell of it just it hit us and he was like, it smells so bad. It smelled like body odor and like food, just all the bad smells that you could possibly think of. It smelled like that. And I, there's a part of me that's just like, I should have just messaged her and been like, I don't want this rug anymore while I was sitting outside her place. Cause we were sitting there and we were like, what are we gonna do? This is just disgusting. And hold on, I need to, ugh. There's sap everywhere and now I'm sticky. That's what she said. I'm going to be inoculating with billions today. And so I, I don't know. There's just a part of me that's just so non-confrontational sometimes that I was like, you know what? I still want it because it's kind of exactly what I was looking for. It's the most comparable thing I could find. And I was tired of not having a rug in the living room anymore. And we had just gotten a new the cell spot cleaner from my in-laws but this is the one where you have to like get on your hands and knees and like use your hands right so i was like you know what i'm just gonna spot clean this whole thing mind you it is an eight by ten rug this rug is massive so we stop by walmart i go grab the solution like the cleaning solution for the spot cleaner i also grab this Bissell odor neutralizer that is like i don't know it's certain enzymes or something so basically i spent all of sunday or no all of saturday on my hands and knees just cleaning this thing and i was i was hesitant to even show this video because it's so nasty and people are probably gonna think you are so gross for even trying to salvage this thing and wanting to keep it and you're keeping it knowing like your kid is going to be crawling all over it that's why i was like i don't even know if i want to tell this story because people are so judgmental so anyway uh brace yourselves if you're squeamish i mean it's not that bad it's not like blood or guts or anything but it's just it was bad so here is what came out of the machine on the first pass when I tell you I have never seen dirt like that come out of a steam cleaner before, not a steam cleaner, but like just like a carpet cleaner before. We had carpets growing up. My mom always had like a house, like a her own cleaner. And you know, there were three girls, like there were five of us living in the house. And yeah, sometimes the, the rugs would get dirty, but we have never, I have never seen this color come out of water before. And there were certain areas where I would go over it and it would just be like bright orange or like bright green. And I'm like, was this like poop or like what was it, you know? And I was just so grossed out because the smell was like just radiating in the apartment. I had all the windows open. I had the AC on. I was like, you know what? I'm, this thing is going to need like five passes, but I am not going to be on my hands and knees doing this heavily pregnant I would show the video that I sent my sister, but I was like half naked and it's just not, it's not suitable for YouTube. But anyway, um, when you go over the cleaner, you have to like push then pull to suction, you know? And so I didn't realize that I was putting so much pressure on this index finger, pushing it. My skin was like slowly separating from my fingernail. 
so gross and yeah the next day you guys i woke up i have never felt that level of pain before and i have ran a full marathon the next day even just breathing my stomach and my chest it was just so sore my whole body like i could not move it was so bad i forgot to mention that um i did use the odor remover so i used like i did a spray i basically used the entire bottle on it and then i covered it with um towels so that like it would soak in overnight and really like get that smell and then the next day i aired it out and you could still smell it i am just so confused at like how the smell permeated this rug so deeply i don't mean to sound judgy but i'm sorry i'm just like so i'm angry i'm angry at myself i'm angry at this person and i i'm just i'm so over it and so it is monday today the smell my husband says he can't even smell anything anymore i still can and so um, I'm calling in a cleaner. They're coming tomorrow morning. Um, I'm having it professionally cleaned because I want the top and the bottom cleaned. I just need like some industrial strength cleaner to get this smell out. And I did tell him, like I told him, the rug is like vis visually clean. There's no real like stains or anything. There's just like little spots here and there. But it's like really not bad but i'm calling you guys in because i need the smell gone i was like i'm gonna pay you whatever whatever your rate is but i was like please do not leave this apartment until the smell is gone from this rug he's like oh do you mind if it smells like citrus after and i was like do you think that i would be upset if it smelled like citrus i literally just told you it smells like armpit <laughs> He was like cackling, but I was like, it's not funny. So anyway, that is the story of my weekend and what happened with my finger. Um, I am hoping even after the cost of the rug plus the cost of the cleaning, it's still gonna be way less than if I bought this brand new rug, but I don't feel great about it because I bought a rug secondhand because I wanted to save money, but I'm also not willing to give up on it after a whole day of being on all my hands and knees. By the way, my knees are bruised and they have like burns all over them from like kneeling on the carpet. Um, and I'm still very, very sore. So yeah, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna pay a professional cleaner to come in and uh, we're just gonna get this done and then I can move on with my life. Holy smokes, she is beauty, she is grace, she is Miss United States. I'm so happy um, seeing them together now. The only thing is I just don't know where to propagate from. Like I could probably take some off down here because this strand is so long, but I also love how long it is. But at the same time, it's like, I guess if I could just cut it like right here, it would look a little bit more even. So that is what we're gonna do. And hopefully I can get maybe like 10 cuttings from it because after this freaking ordeal with the rug and me spending way more than I thought I was gonna spend, I think I just need to make money. I just need to make money. And I was thinking about this today. This is me just being fully transparent. Um, I hope that I haven't, oh, I need a scissor. I hope that I haven't come across as very like, sorry, my voice is still, um, cutting in now i hope i haven't come across as very like salesy i know that i've been showing you guys like all these plants i'm selling and that i've been like really pushing that i'm selling through lauren at north shore but like it's really just the time that i'm in because over the last few months i've been just focused on um purging and making money to sort of fund you know, all the stuff that we need for Archie and stuff. Yeah, I've just been in like crazy selling mode um, and just trying to get rid of plants, trying to make as much money from plants, propagating plants, and just getting my house under control. So, um, okay, I think I'm gonna chop right here. Can you guys see, kind of, it's gonna be sticker um, here. 
and then there was like one part here that seemed kind of leggy is it you no my face is so itchy today and i don't know why maybe it was him okay this one seems a little leggy-ish too so i'm gonna chop is vibrating here I don't want to take off too much because like I'm I really really do like this plant and I want it to look nice and full still but I think we can spare some okay so that's all I'm gonna take I really don't like this I don't <laughs> ouch I'm gonna chop it off even if leaves can grow from it, it's really, really pissing me off. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut off some of the like dead areas. I know that I've said that my Hoya Abovada is my all-time favorite Hoya, but I think, on if I have to be so honest, I think it has been dethroned by this plant because... She's, this is just me. This is just me. This is just a Hoya that I love so much. Oh my gosh, there's stuff and everywhere. You know what? I'm going to go bring this to the shower and give it a rinse. I'll put my props here. Okay, so this is trash. <laughs> this thing. This thing is deadly. <laughs> I think I'm going to cut them into single and double nodes. I'd like to get 10 if I could. I think I'll leave this three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Ten cuttings exactly. So I'm gonna let these callus up a bit and then I'm just gonna stick them in water. Now we will be handling this Matilde. I'm nervous. I hope she doesn't hate me for uprooting her because it's been in this vessel for a very, very long time. And I get nervous with Hoi Rupa. Honestly, I'm just, nervous with Hoyas in general and I know people keep telling me to not pot in pond but like this is in pond and I'm not sure I want to do a transition I might regret that but you know you just have to live with the consequences of your actions <laughs> so let's take you out Roots look good. I'm just going to give her a little shake. I don't want to disturb it too much. This is the size that I will be potting up to. So it's going from this size to that size. And I'm going to do like a down at the bottom like I did with the Eve Rocherai. I wanted to try and find a really cute pot for this because tomorrow I think I plan on going to Bandula Farms. They're finally open again. And I have to go do more pregnancy test stuff at a lab that's like 10 minutes from them. So I figure I might as well go stop by. But I really wanted to do this today. So it's fine. I'll still see if they have some cute pots. Because I'm trying to put more of my clear vessels out in the living room in cover, like cute cover pots. Not just to like kind of liven it up a bit, but to like slow down the algae growth. All right, so let me show you the trellis. This is the trellis from the Pup and Bud. They are not, I don't think he's making or selling these trellises anymore, but you can find similar ones on Amazon. It's just like this. I don't know what the material is. It's not plastic, it's like metal. And it doesn't go in all the way, so I'm just gonna rest it on here. And then add some pond. Ooh. 
<clears throat> I'm finally starting to feel better. By the way, to um, some people who commented saying that it might be like this or that, it ended up just being some viral infection that I just had to write out. They didn't want to give me any antibiotics or like an inhaler or anything because they said that I wasn't wheezing and um, they're just trying to not have me take meds if I don't absolutely have to because I'm pregnant, which I obviously agree with. So um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. Like I'm not coughing as much. My throat doesn't hurt anymore. It's just kind of in that growth stage where like everything is coming up now, which is nasty, but it's also like a relief, honestly, because it was just feeling so like full and like just like gross in there. So I'm actually just so happy that it's coming up and out, but quite nasty. Okay, sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna repot first and then we will style after. I'm just gonna pot it right in the center. Again, inoculating with TPS. I am so tired. I had such a long weekend. I mean, obviously with what I told you, I've just been doing more nesting stuff, getting Archie's room ready. I try and take advantage of my energy when it's there because lately there's just, it's non-existent and it's just hard to get anything done when you are just so, so fatigued. My usual routine lately has been to get up when my husband gets up, so around 9, 8.30, 9 a.m. Um, I have, I work, have lunch, and then I usually go back to sleep from like noon to 3, 3.30. My naps during the day are like three to four hours long. And then I continue with the second half of my day and continue working, cleaning, doing whatever. But those midday naps have just been so good. I'm not sleeping well at night and that's just like a pregnancy thing across the board. Like you just don't sleep well and I'm way more congested at night and so it's just hard for me to breathe. I was talking to my best friend Verly who lives in California. We're both pregnant. She's two weeks ahead of me and um, we we're talking about symptoms and how we're feeling and stuff and we're both very congested and I was telling her that like, yeah, I've been using nose strips at night, but I always wake up in the morning and it's like somewhere, it's like in my shirt, it's like on my forehead, in my hair somewhere. I'm like, what do I do at night? Yeah, it does help at least get me to sleep because I just like can't breathe. But being congested at night is just awful. And for some reason I'm not as congested during the day. So when I am napping in the afternoons, it's like I can actually breathe. I think maybe that's why I'm feeling or I'm sleeping so much better during the days. I just need to untangle this because everything is going every which way. I hope this turns out cute because I have been just hoping to get this on this trellis for so long and if it doesn't turn out the way I want I'm gonna freak out I'm just gonna not gonna freak out but I'll be sad I feel like I can kind of do like a twisting action too like go around the trellis and not just so that it like kind of sticks better I don't want to knock these new precious leaves off It's hard when it's so delicate. So I'm gonna try and sort of wrap just so it has a little bit more stability and isn't just relying on <clears throat> the clips. Oh, my shoulders. I have no kind of stamina these days. Um. This will go here. We just have to fit her in somewhere like this. I can use the same clip. Ah, no. 
Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Haven't lost any coins so far. Not bad at all. I think I'll go from behind and try and like fill in places here. Lost that. Oh, I can use this clip. Okay, okay. It's not looking bad so far, people. This is where we are right now. Sometimes I wish I just had like a plain background. I could use this, I could turn it so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. But sometimes like on the viewfinder, it's not clear. Like I feel like it's getting washed out in the background, but then when I upload it, I'm like, oh yeah, you can see it just fine. <sighs> now, that one can go that way. I feel like I can probably get away with going this way for this one so that it's not all on one side. Not ideal, but I think it can be done. I'm happy these like stems are very pliable though. It's not like super rigid. I was supposed to retrawl as my Avo Vada today, but I looked at it. I took one good look at it and I was like, no, not today. <laughs> Maybe another time. Plus, I'm still trying to find like the perfect trellis for it. Like it needs something industrial, but I just don't know what. Okay, and I've got this little dude up here. And then I have one more here, which I think I'll go this way because it's a little bit bare down at the bottom. Hold on. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna wrap you around here. Ow, my shoulder. My shoulder is on fire. I think maybe I can use a big clip right here so that they can all be clipped together. Hold on, let me take a look at her. This one's a little loosey. A little loosey-goosey. I think she needs to be clipped in here too. That's not bad. And I think this one's got some new leaves coming, but I'm gonna preemptively sort of twist it around so that it finds its way. And I'm hoping over time I can just keep and um, I'm trying to think, no, it's fine, it's fine. I think it's okay. So here's what she looks like. <laughs> it's not as bushy. It's really interesting to just see it as like a big old wreath. Um, it looked so bushy when it was on that little pole, but now she's got room to stretch. And hopefully as it gets thicker, we'll just keep going around and around and I can get like a nice little bush here. My other option that I was thinking about, that was Pudge. Um, another option I was thinking about was just letting it becoming, letting it become a trailing plant, which I would not be opposed to. I've seen trailing Matildes and, um, there, it's really nice. So if it came to that, I think I could train it to just trail and look really nice, but I wanted to give this a shot. I wanted to like see this vision out at least once just to see um, if it's for me, see if I would like it. Now I have to find a place for it, but you know, we'll see what happens later down the line. But yeah, she is done. So that is it for me today. It feels so weird to like put up a video and see that like my camera hasn't even reached an hour yet, but I gotta get used to these short videos. I have to learn how to start making them. My natural instinct would be like, oh, let's just do one more to hit the one hour mark. No, I will not give in. Um, but anyway, yes, I will be propagating more Eve Rocheri for people who are looking for some. I do have like maybe two cuttings that are going to be ready for the next live sale, which will be on Friday. And this is going up before then. So next live sale is going to be Friday the 12th on the North Shore Tropicals. Uh, Instagram, I usually price the cuttings anywhere from like $15 to $25, just depending on how big they are. Um, if you're wondering, those are Canadian prices, so if you're in the States, it's a little bit cheaper for you. What else? That's it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me for a short Wednesday upload. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it maybe um, inspired you to get some of your Hoyas tamed, restyled, and things like that. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you on Saturday.